welcome to Around the Dog World, a stakes special. We've got coverage of the Pro Plan Purina Dog World Pup of the Year competition and the Yukonuba Champion Stakes finals. Plus, we've got exclusive interviews with Kennel Club Chairman Steve Dean and Crufts 2012 Best in Show Judge Frank Kane. Today we are in the picturesque countryside in Cheshire at Crewe Hall for the Pro Plan Dog World Pup of the Year competition where we'll see 31 of the top puppies who have won through classes held at championship shows around the country. Now we'll take a look at that competition a little later on but first let's rewind a little to look back at the Yukonuba Champion Stakes. This was where 25 of the country's titled dogs all competed for the chance to represent the UK at the prestigious Yukonuba World Challenge Finals in Florida. 2010's winner was Lee Cox and Tom Isherwood's Chinese crested champion Vanatonia Unwrapped, who we mentioned in the last programme. But the dog who went forward to represent the UK at the finals was Willie Dobbins, Newfoundland, champion, Irish champion, Fairweather's knockout with Brooklyn Bear. Now, the prize for the winner is a very big one, a chance to take on the rest of the world at the Yukonuba World Challenge finals. Commentating for us there was Andrew Brace. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you here on behalf of Yukonuba to the 2011 final of the champion stakes. Number 24 is the Japanese Shiba Inu champion Vormund Ferrari. <laughs> Ferrari is a two-year-old Shiba who qualified at Driffield where the judge was Peter Radley. Number 23 is Eric de Bichon Frise. <laughs> Champion Pamplona Bring Me Sunshine is a three year old Bichon male owned, bred, and handled by Michael Code, who qualified to be here today at Belfast under Patsy Hollings. Number 20 is another English Springer Spaniel. This time, the male, James. This is show champion, Trimere Thriller, who's now three years of age and who qualified at Birmingham National under Clive Davis. This is champion Van Dream Imperial Hermione by Berezniki. She's now six years of age and qualified to be here today at Bath, where the judge was Martin Sanders. Now we come to number four, the master of champion Zentar Elizabeth. The master, champion Zentar Elizabeth, qualified at Welks, where the judge was Alan White. This is show champion Trimere Tigra. She's now seven years of age and qualified at Leeds where the judge was Ken Sinclair. Number 12 is Kaita Sinclair. This is champion Chandler Moore, cover girl at Rosie Mamie. 
the St. Bernard who qualified at Windsor, where the judge was Jill Peak, and she's now six years and ten months of age. Dog number 13 is the West Highland White Terrier, Alfie. <laughs> Champion Lambsmore fits right in, is now four years of age, and qualified at the East of England where the judge was Jack Watson. Now we have number 15. This is Moses, the smooth coat Chihuahua. So this is champion Gibel Tariq Moses. He is three years of age. He qualified at Paynton where the judge was Jeffrey Davis. Dog number 17 is the German Shepherd dog Rico. <coughs> This is champion Elmo from Hunegrab, a five-year-old German Shepherd male who qualified at Bournemouth. Number 16 is the pointer male Martin. This is show champion Kiswahili Martin at Carnix, a four-and-a-half-year-old pointer who qualified at the National Gundog under Gordon Huron. Number nine is the English setter bitch, Frankie. This is show champion, Mary Glenn Francesca Fenston, who qualified at Jane Lilly at three counties. Now we come to our second percentage. This is champion for Carnegie American Gigolo at Embo. Sparky qualified at Birmingham National, where the judge was Roy Baker, and is now two years and ten months of age. This is the Newfoundland, and qualified at the first piece of the year, which was, of course, the Alpair. This is the Newfoundland male, champion Hanningfield, touch of magic. Number 10 is the first of two Border Collies we have today, and this is Megan, show champion Tonkery Lightning Strakes J. Dean, and she's now five years of age. She qualified at Border Union, where the judge was Jeff Horswell. Number 21, we have the Bearded Collie, champion Sangala's Indiana Jones, Indy. Champion Sangala's Indiana Jones, the bearded collie, is now four years and three months of age. He qualified at Richmond, where the judge was Paul Harding. Number 25, the Great Dane, Abby. <laughs> Champion Mary Box, love affair with Jan Rich, is a three and a half year old Great Dane who qualified at the South Wales Kennel Association show and a Betty Flavor. Number three, one of our two percentages. <laughs> this is champion and American champion, Hazor's make way for Ryan. He qualified at Manchester where the judge was Freedom Marshall. Dog number six is the Dalmatian. Champion Soft Spot, Snap, Crackle and Pop, a four-year-old who qualified at the May Scottish Kennel Club show where the judge was Anne McDonald. Number 11 is the Samoyed male Woody. Champion Duxlake, Majestic Spirit over Kalinski. Woody qualified at Blackpool where the judge was Jim Otterside. Now we come to another imported dog, number 18, the Border Collie, Sylvester. The Australian champion and show champion, Denari De Beers. He's now four years of age and he qualified at the Welsh Kennel Club where the judge was Tom Johnston. Number 22 is Salty, the Labrador. This is show champion, American and Canadian champion, Salty Dog of Tampa Bay. 
He's a six-year-old male who qualified at Darlington, where the judge was Muriel Hathaway. Those of you who are going home and not going to the judge's houses. Okay, first forward, could we have, please, number three, the Basenji. Number four, the Lhasa Apso. Number 13, the West Highland White Terrier. Number 16, the Pointer. Number 17, the German Shepherd Dog. Number 21, the Bearded Collie. Number 22, the Labrador Retriever. And number 23, the Bichon Frise. What's going to happen now? Our judges will decide if they want to see anything move again. And when they're satisfied, they've seen all they need to see, they're going to place the dogs from one to eight. And you thought it was going to be easy. Those of you who come to Pet Plan on a regular basis know how much I love ties. The West Highland White and the Bearded Collie step forward onto this side of the ring and the three judges will have to vote for one or the other. It's as simple as that. Right, thank you very much, gentlemen. Please return to your position. And now we have another tie. <laughs> Could I ask the following three dogs to step forward onto the other side of the ring? The Basenji, the Labrador, and the Bichon. Okay, thank you very much. Could you return to your original positions, please, whilst we announce the results? In fifth place, we have the Bichon Frise. <laughs> Champion Pamplona, Bring Me Sunshine with Michael Code. In fourth place, we have the Bearded Collie. <laughs> Champion Sengala's Indiana Jones with Nick May. In third place, we have the West Highland White Terrier. Champion Lambsmore fits right in with Angus Gordon. <clears throat> in second place, the pointer, <laughs> show champion Kiswahili Martin at Carnick. And the winner of the 2011 Yukonuba Champion Stakes Final is the Lhasa Apso <laughs> Champion Zentar Elizabeth with Margaret Anderson.
could I say thank you very much to the German Shepherd, the Labrador and the Basenji, and thank you for contributing so much to the final. joined by the panel of three judges, Peggy, Graham and Valerie Foss. Now, thank you very much for joining us, guys. It was such a fabulous event to watch. How was it for you? And you're obviously not from over our parts, are you, Peggy? But just tell us a little bit about what you felt about the event. Oh, I thought it was a great event. It was very well organized. It, it really spotlighted each one of these fabulous dogs. They each had their turn. And it's such an honor just to be here, let alone to win it. So it was great. It was great fun for me to be here as an American and sending them off to Disneyland, <laughs> or Disney World, excuse me. Absolutely. Now, Graham, tell us about the system. This is obviously not a normal dog showing system. It's a point system. Do you think um, it reflected the final results really well? Certainly did, as far as I was concerned. Certainly, yes. And uh, I think that the, three the panel of the judges that we had, I think all, we're all of like minds. And uh, I think the lineup that we had at the end, I think, uh, displayed that, certainly. Now, Valerie, the, the, there was a couple of tie breaks at the end there as well. That was all rather exciting. Um, was there any dogs particularly that you were really, really fighting for at the end there? No, because we agreed again. I mean, funnily enough, the winners, we'd all marked highly right through. So that was very interesting that we thought the same, that um, you know they were the dogs that really took the eye on the day. Because like all judging, it's on the day. Because they all got great reputations. And uh, just tell us, Graham, your thoughts on this Lazar Apso that's now going through to the World Challenge. I mean, an absolutely exquisite specimen of its breed. It takes your breath away. It really does. I, I'm honoured and I'm very proud to have that, that sort of dog representing the UK in, in America for us. I'm delighted to be joined by Elizabeth's owner, Margaret Anderson, who's actually from just down the road, so you didn't have to come far to win mm. this amazing event. No. You were so surprised to win it, weren't you? I was absolutely astounded. You know, I can't believe it. I'm still on cloud nine, and Elizabeth brings me down to earth because all she wanted when we went home is a dinner. <laughs> now, Elizabeth came fifth here last year, and I know you were delighted with that, but to, did you think or hope that you were going to win it today? Did you have any idea that you could do that? No, n not at all. I was just so um, sort of privileged, really, to be pulled out in the final eight. And I thought, well, if we don't do no more than that, I'm just thrilled to bits with that anyway. I just keep hearing it saying, and the winner is. <laughs> <laughs> and he said the last rap so, and it took about 30 milliseconds to go into my head. <laughs> oh, that's me. <laughs> She is a showgirl. She loves it. Absolutely adores showing. Well, Andrew, you were also at the Yukonuba World Challenge Finals. Margaret and Elizabeth did a fantastic job. Indeed, they did. They, um, they certainly upheld the tradition of British dogs. And, of course, this was the first year that we actually had the British finalists. Not only was it owner, bred and handled, but um, Elizabeth got into the first three. And they, they put on a great show. It was fantastic, wasn't it? Well, thank you very much, Andrew, and congratulations again to Margaret and Elizabeth. Now we will head straight to ringside, here at Pup of the Year, where Frank Kane and Jessica Holm will talk you through all the action. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Purina Pro, Pro Plan Dog World Pup of the Year final for 2011, one of the truly glittering prizes in the canine calendar. Time to welcome the finalists for the Pup of the Year 2011. Led in by the winner from Boston, Erdley Barb Dwyer. From Manchester, we have the Whippet. This one, Court Hill Catch a Shadow. And the Scottish Breeds, it was the Cane Terrier, Renshaw, there and back again. Thank you. 
Our UK toy dog representative, Yaki Honourable Intention, is not here today for Bert Eason and Philip Martin, so please welcome the National Terrier winner, the Scotty, this one champion, Stuane Florette. At Welts, it was the Briard which led them home, Gilkaru Woodbridge Debris. Birmingham National, the English Springer Spaniel, Petronella Hot Gossip. At the Scottish Kennel Club's May Show, it was the Shiba Inu champion Vorman Norma Jean. From Bath, the Maltese, Benetone Pure Gold. At Southern Counties, it was the pointer, Wilkremain Ice Crystal. And from three counties, the Shidu, Yaki Geriatric. Border Union saw victory going to the Australian Shepherd, All Mark Spirit of St. Louis. And now, sibling to the other pointer, this one from Blackpool, Wilkermain Ice Maiden. At Windsor, it was the Cocker Spaniel, Dylan Park Pellegrino. And from east of England, the Samoyed Levera's Extreme Nobility. At the National Working and Pastoral Breeds, the winner was the Old English Sheepdog, Brinkley Rockefeller. A Griffon Bruxellois was crowned at Leeds, this one, Donziata Royal Tweed. Paint and Show saw victory for the Norfolk Terrier, Kingsridge Gung Ho. Frank himself put through the first of three sibling Basenjis. This one, Takaji, Texas Ranger. <laughs> National Gun Dog saw victory for the curly coated retriever, May Court, Skies on Fire. From Bournemouth, it was a Pekingese sent forward, Levanda Fabergé. Oh, who's coming in a minute? <laughs> Quite right, take your time. And now, at the Welsh Kennel Club, Max King chose the Pomeranian Felburn Valentino from Lyriva. From August Scottish Kettle Club Championship show, it was the Rottweiler who took the day, West Lodge Dizzy Rascal at Chelia. At the City of Birmingham, an arch chose the Tibetan Terrier, Alila's extra well dressed at Waterley. From Richmond, another sibling, Basenji, this one, Tokaji Kentucky Blue. Whilst at Darlington, it was another Australian Shepherd, Allmark Indecent Proposal. From across the water at Belfast, another Samoyed. This one, Blue Aegean Oracle of Apollo. And now at Driffield, we had the Americans Cocker Spaniel leading them home, Nesseline in the buff. South Wales Kennel Association, the Pomeranian, Larivas to Hell and Back. At Midland Counties, it was yet another Basenji, Takaji, California Dreaming.
From the British Utility Breeds Association, the winner was the miniature schnauzer, Ersme Miss Congeniality. And finally, our youngest competitor, qualifying at the LKA, the Australian Shepherd, Dialin Jathinkisaurus. And it's now my pleasure to introduce the gentleman who will have the pleasure of judging this fantastic array of canine youngsters today. His interests in dogs go back to childhood and have never left him. From the 60s, his Clickham Rough Collies have been a household name in the breed. Dogs aside, his skill as a raconteur of amusing stories is legendary. And in theatrical terms, he recently played to a full house at his recent Dog World audience with Andrew Brace. I suppose that's the equivalent of Piers Morgan's life stories. <laughs> However, he's here today with all of his canine talents. Please welcome Mr. Derek Smith. comes the Beagle, the Scottish Terrier, the Japanese Shiba Inu, the Maltese and the Pointer, Australian Shepherd, the second Pointer Sister, and the Cocker Spaniels called forward. The Basenji and the Black Pomeranian. American Cocker, Tibetan Terrier, and... Another sibling Australian Shepherd. And the Pekingese, and yet again the Basenji. And going home, the Norfolk Terrier. So there's our first... Congratulations to all of the finalists. There's the Beagle, Erdly Barbed Wire. from National Terrier Champion Stuane Florette. The SKC's winner, the Chief Inu Champion Gorman Norma Jean with Michaela on board. from Bath, Benetone Pure Gold. There's Jill Peake's winner, the Pointer Wilpermain Ice Crystal. to move again our Border Union Heat winner, the Australian Shepherd Allmark, Spirit of St Louis. Also finalist here and shortlisted, the Shih Tzu Yaki Geriatric for Michaela and Pat Hall. handling the pointer Wilkermain Ice Maiden. Joining her sister in the first part. And there's Percy, the Cocker Spaniel, Dylan Park Pellegrino. Bidding to do his mother proud. The Basenji Tokaji California Dreaming, Priscilla. The sibling Australian Shepherds there with Angie Allen on board. All marking decent proposal. And from South Wales, the charming little pom, Larivas to Hella Black. <laughs> 
City of Birmingham's winner, the Tibetan Terrier, Alila's extra well-dressed at Waterloo. Driffield's Heat winner now, the American Cocker Spaniel, Nasaline in the Buff. Bournemouth's winner, the Pekingese Levander Fabergé. There's the Norfolk Terrier, Kingsbridge Gung Ho. Winner from Paynton under Jane Lilly. And finally, it's Woody from Hound Show to Kaji, Texas Ranger. Come back after the break to see who is crowned Pup of the Year. So I'm sure you'll agree, an enormous achievement to have made it to this first cut. Making it through, the Scottish Terrier, the Japanese Shiba Inu. The, the Pointer. Handled by Amelia, number 13. Papa Spaniel. The Tibetan Terrier. The Pekingese and Texas Ranger, the Basenji. I'm sure you'll agree, seven young dogs, a great credit to our breeders in this country and to pedigree dogs in general. And you wouldn't want to have to make the choice, would you? But Derek has to. <laughs> <Didn't get that. laughs> There's a wry comment there from Derek. We have a winner and a reserve in this competition, ladies and gentlemen and they'll be placed in that order, the winner and then the reserve. <coughs> oh, and the winner of the competition for this year is the beautiful Scotty. Champion Stuane Flores takes the pop of the year for 2011. And, and the reserve spot is the Tibetan Terrier, Alina's extra well-dressed at Waterloo. Congratulations to the other five leaving the ring. A wonderful selection by Derek. Champion Duane from Etch, which is Purina Propan Dog World Pop of the Year for 2011. Well done, Flo. Well, that was an absolutely fantastic competition. I'm joined by today's judge, Derek Smith. Now, how was that for you? Absolutely fantastic. That just describes it. They were a really wonderful set of puppies. And when I got down to my last cut, it really was just a matter of personal opinion and total performance, not even on the day, but on that minute. Absolutely. And your winner was the Scottish Terrier. Yes. And your runner-up was the Tibetan Terrier. Yes. Just tell us a little bit about the Tibetan Terrier. Why did that catch your eye? He's got such fabulous construction when you go over him on the table. He's beautiful type, and the owners had him in magnificent condition. And he's very sound. The Scotty, I have put up before, she was my best puppy in show when I did Birmingham last year. And I did love her, but of course it all depends how she looked. And there again, she was pristine. Her coat was pristine today. Not easy with the terrier. Not easy at Not all. Easy at all. Winner of the Purina Pro Plan Dog World Pup of the Year competition was the Scottish Terrier called Flo. Her show name is Champion Stuane Florette. I'm with Stuart Plain, the owner. Many congratulations. How do much. you feel? Very, very delighted. Absolutely delighted. This is not the first time you've won this award, is it? No, I was actually won Pup of the Year in 1986 with her ancestor of Flo's. 1986, that's 25, 25 years. years yeah. Oh, what a nice 25 yeah. anniversary yes. present for you. Wonderful. <laughs> and tell us a little bit about the breeding behind Flo. I understand there's some homebred well, generations yes. in there. Flo is actually the fifth generation female champion 
That's an incredible yes. achievement. You must yeah. be one very proud breeder. Very, very proud. <laughs> very proud. And tell us a little bit about Flo's achievement. She's so very young. Is she just 20 months old now? 20 months old, yes. She won, won her first CC at six months. And she's now got um, 10 CCs. She's won s uh, seven Terrier groups and had two reserve best in shows at all breed championship shows. And so I know she's had a best puppy in show, hasn't she? Actually yes. under, under today's under, judge. Under, yeah, under Derek Smith, yes. Yes, so you must have had a little hope when you came today. Well, perhaps. I knew she, he liked her, obviously, but, you know, time goes by and things change. And what's Flo like to live with at home, then? A delight. A delight. She's so friendly. She loves people. Loves people. Well, many congratulations. You, you are the Purina Pro Plan Dog World Pup of the Year winner, you and Thank Flo. You. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Andrew, it's great to see some absolutely beautiful dogs coming through, isn't it? It was a very strong field, I thought, and um, I'm sure Derek would have enjoyed every minute. Um, when I sat down as the dogs first came in, watched them doing their individuals, I was busy marking my programme, and um, I came up with a short list of nine, and uh, I was happy to see that most of them coincided with Derek's choices. What did you think of the final lineup? His second cut was exceptional. And um, I don't know what was going on in Derek's head, obviously. I, I felt from the start that the Scotty was going to be the one to beat. Um, the one that I'd, I'd not judged, who I thought actually comported himself beautifully, was the Pekingese. And I, I think when Derek started looking into his face, um, I could see Derek smile a little bit. And I know he's got a soft spot for the breed, so I thought maybe the Pekingese could, could be the dark horse here. But he still made it through to the, the very last cut. And speaking to Derek afterwards, he rated the dog very highly. Thank you, Andrew. Now, thank you to all those watching, and we'll see you next time on Around the Dog World.